What's going on guys? This is Mark bringing you a continuation of our playthrough of Pokemon Crystal. Now last we left off we made our way to Goldenrod City after we got a tip that Team Rocket was up to no good at the radio tower which is where we are standing as of right now. You can see in the uh, tiny window right over there that we got a Team Rocket grunt sitting right next to us. Now if you uh, happen to have missed any of the unique items that you wanted to obtain within Goldenrod well you might have to wait because the majority of Goldenrod City is blocked off by Team Rocket covering all their bases and and you won't even be able to get an Eevee if you hadn't gotten it already uh, from Bill in this town. So if you missed that then you'll have have to wait now be prepared because this is going to be not only a long video but if you're playing alongside me on this one uh this is going to take some time there are a lot of trainers in this tower here or uh and, and the majority of them are going to be in the like mid to higher 20s some of them are going to be lower but the majority of the enemies you're going to take on here are going to be between 24 and 27 until you get to the uh, team rocket executive who is entire lineup is in the 30s. On top of that, you also have a rival battle that you have to take on, and uh, there's going to be a lot of opportunity here for confrontation. And I say that because when you're going through the different floors, the elevator is kaput. You won't be able to get that until you can get, I believe, a key card of some sort. Um, so at this point, you're going to be in that position where you're just going to have to uh, challenge pretty much everyone between here and I think the fifth floor, which is where you end up getting uh, the basement key, I think. Now, once you get the basement key, you're going to head down into the underground area, or the basement as it were, and uh, I think that's where you'll be able to, uh, like, free all the uh, people and defeat the last Team Rocket uh, presence in the entire radio tower. But, let's go ahead and uh, run through this now, and see who, what sort of obstacles we have on our way. Now, there's a, I don't really think there's a whole lot of items even worthwhile picking up in here. I think the TM for Sunny Day is the only thing, but uh, even with that, mm, it's probably not really all that worth it. Uh, if you want it, get it. If not, whatever. No big deal. You're not really missing out on a whole lot. But uh, let's just finish this off. Now, as you'll see, my Growlithe is still at level 34. It eradicates at level 24. And just to kind of give you an idea, it's taking three rounds uh, of attacks on uh, my side to take Radicate down. So that should give you a pretty strong indication of where your Pokemon should be. Um, obviously, Radicate's a fully evolved Radita, and then you have... Growlithe, who still has yet to uh, evolve because we don't have a Firestone. So let's go ahead and switch things up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and throw Alakazam up to the top here. Um, yeah, there we go. Just because his Psybeam attack should be enough to take down the majority of the enemies that we're going to take on. Alright, so let's see. We might be able to... Mm, nope, I thought I was going to be able to fit through that, but... Okay, so... Let's see... We'll challenge this one. She's a pretty powerful grunt, I think. Um, and then we can get through, I think, and make our way to the next level without challenging anybody else on this floor. But let's see, what do we got here? An Arbok at what level? What do we got? Level 26. Okay. Now, there are some trainers that do have a like a strong line of Pokemon in the, in the mid to high 20s. I think there's at least one trainer in here somewhere that has like three Pokemon that are 26, 27. So just kind of be prepared that you might have to grind up for the battles that you're going to be taking on. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on. Can I make my way around? Nope, I'm gonna be... Yeah, I'm gonna be locked in this battle no matter what. I could take... Ah, uh, that's too bad. Yeah, no matter what, we're gonna take on three trainers here. You can't really avoid that. Oh well. With Alakazam blowing through his side beam, that should be enough to take them down pretty quickly. Alright, Alakazam, just use side beam, knock out Zubat. Should be a one-hit KO, I think. Yeah, this is going to be a, a long video, but it's also going to be a long playthrough for you as well. And it might be even, be even be longer if your Pokemon aren't trained up enough to be strong to the point where you can hit uh, one-hit KOs on every opponent that you take on. So just kind of be prepared for that. Another Zubat. Nope. And the biggest thing you got to worry about with Zubat is that he has the ability to uh, use Supersonic, a uh, technique that should make you take damage and get confused. So you don't want to uh, you don't want to run into that situation. But again, it is just a Zubat, so I don't know. Just thought I would throw that out there. Be prepared for for a lot of confusion going on here. If nothing else, while it does suck that we have to take on all these enemies, we still do uh, have the ability to collect a lot of money by beating all of these guys. Alright, Grunt sending out Grimer, okay. 
typical Team Rocket lineup, make sure that you have a lot of antidotes or full heals or anything like that to, to get you out of any sticky situation where you could be paralyzed or poisoned along the way. With uh, Arbok, potentially Ekans, Golbat, Grimer, Muck, those types of Pokemon that Team Rocket usually carries, I'm assuming there's going to be a variety of uh, some form of those or another. Um, so you want to make sure that you can get through. Now the good news is though, if you end up you taking a lot of damage, um, the Pokemon Center is still open. Yeah, I see. Ah, muck, damn. Uh, the Pokemon Center is open and free. I think that, and I don't even know if the department store is open. I didn't bother looking, but I know at least for sure the Pokemon Center is one of the only places or the only pathways that are open in the entire city. All right, Grimer. Nope, we'll go ahead and just finish him off with that. I should be working to grow Umbreon as well, get some TMs for him to make him a little bit more viable. He's still pretty weak. Confuse Ray, I think, is the only attack that he's got that's not that uh, not that terrible. We've got Shadow Ball, but that doesn't really seem to be doing a ton of damage that I've I've noticed. Unless it's some Pokemon type that's completely weak against ghost types. Okay, alright, going to the next floor. Alright, what do we got here? How can I get through this? Alright, this guy's gonna be a problem. Okay, so we can go down. Go through here, that looks like a normal person. Wait, where's the key card to get through? Because we have to open that door. Oh, it's the staircase. Alright, so we're just going to go up over here. Knock him out of view. There we go. Oh, no! Wow, he saw me? Holy crap. Yeah, and what I just realized is that trainer that's going to be, like, to my immediate, like, left or the character's right based on how we're facing. As soon as we, uh, hey, it's me. Magnemite. He's going to end up blocking the stairway path, and so we have to go around, and we're going to end up fighting another trainer. Damn, they were really clever in their layout for this. Shit, that's going to suck. Yeah, Magnemite is equally as kind of troublesome and annoying. We brought up Zubat before because it's supersonic, right? Magnemite can learn that move as well, but he can also do... He can also do Thunder Wave, which will paralyze your Pokemon, obviously. So you want to make sure that you've got those full heals, paralyzed heals, anything at all that can get you out of those uh, status disadvantages, you know? About to use Magnemite. But nope, we're gonna go ahead and just do this once again. I'm gonna run out of power points for Psybeam. Been using that this whole time. Let's see, what else do we have here? I mean, we got strong Pokemon, but Alkazam is kind of our powerhouse that I was hoping to, to use to get through the majority of these guys. Now nah, we're good, I'll just stick around with it. Magnemite once again. Let's see, what else do we have? Confusion and Disable and Teleport. Hmm. It'll be a while before we can actually learn the Psychic move at Psychic, but once we get that, it's the most powerful move in the game. We'll be able to blow through everybody instantly. Hey, Confused, I forgot that Psybeam could do that. Knock himself out, come on. Ah, oh, shit. Ba -da -ba -da All right, let's just go ahead and use Confusion. That should do a little damage, I think. There we go. Cool. Scientist defeated. Alright, if that rocket grunt sees me. Yeah, he's gonna block my path. There's nothing I can do. Damn. Actually, no, we can just do this. There we go. Alright, cool. He didn't block the path. I got lucky. I thought his vision was gonna have a little bit more distance and stand right in front of the staircase and I have to leave and come back to the room. That would suck. Right, Grunt wants to battle. All right, he's going to send out Coughing, another Poison-type Pokemon as well. Be wary. I don't think they can learn Toxic, since that's a TM that you can get from one of the gym leaders, but even so, he still knows things like Smokescreen and other Poison-type attacks that could be kind of a pain, so just be prepared. Coughing's really not that intimidating, neither is his evolutionary form losing, but still, his Poison-type attacks are a real nuisance. And I don't remember in Gen 2 if every step you take, you take damage like you did in Gen 1. I don't remember, but... Still, just to be safe, try to avoid being poisoned. Should go without saying, I guess, but... Rather safe than sorry. I think Alakazam's the most powerful Pokemon I have in my lineup now, as far as uh, level. I mean, naturally, his, uh, his attacks are going to be more powerful. Right, a tab, one-hit KO... Does he have one more Pokemon? If so, that might be enough to level us up. No, maybe not. Yeah, we got one more. 
Yeah, I brought this up in a previous video, but I'm gonna try to do my best not to grind in between playthrough videos now, just so that way we can have a little bit more uh, drama when I'm taking on gym leaders. If I grind in between videos and then I can just one-shot every single opponent, then I guess that kind of takes the fun out of the videos, but I know I brought that up before. I just want to bring that up once again, which is why I'm not leveling up in between. All right, let's go up. All right, where are we? Let's see. Scientist there. That guy's just rotating. Damn. Should have expected as much. All right, is this Scientist Rich, I think? I think he has like four or five Pokemon on him, if I remember correctly. Nope, it's just the one. Oh, it is rich, though. Okay, I thought he had a bunch. Porygon. Oh, level 30, I think. Yikes. Yeah, this is a Pokemon you should be intimidated for. Porygon is kind of a pain in the ass. It's not going to want to hit KO. I'm going to do a third damage. Oh, snap. Huh. I'm actually really surprised it did that amount of damage. I thought his defense would have been substantially higher. He's a normal type Pokemon, but I guess Psychic type moves still have a massive uh, impact on those types. There we go, level 38, fantastic. Trying to learn Psychic. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, teleport, Psybeam, Confusion, and Disable. Well, Psybeam can confuse. Confusion obviously does a little bit of damage in Confusion. Teleport's a good move to get out of there quickly. I'm gonna get rid of Confusion just because I want to keep Disable. So. If I'm going against a really powerful type Pokemon that's doing damage, major damage, Disable obviously can remove that that, that move set uh, completely out of the battle entirely. And with Psybeam low on power points and still an effective move, I don't want to get rid of that. So I'm having Psychic. That's handy. Okay, that's good. I think that's good. I want to keep Teleport. I know I've got Fly, but I want her to keep Teleport still. Who the hell is this guy? You came to rescue me? Is that what you were expecting? Wrong, I'm an imposter. I pretend to be the real thing to prepare you for... Okay, prepare for takeover, okay. Do you want to know where we hid the real director? Sure, I'll tell you, but only if you can beat me. These are the worst villains ever, you know? Like, if you're a bad guy, I, I feel like it should be in Super Villain Handbook, like the Guide 101, that, I don't know, maybe if you're a bad guy, don't ever reveal your evil plan. If you beat me, I'll tell you. Why are you making deals? That doesn't even make sense. Like, oh shit, damn it. I thumbed that. Shouldn't have done that. That was dumb. I don't know. It just seems stupid to me. All right, so all of his Pokemon are going to be in the 30s. Psychic should still do enough to one-shot the majority of them. We'll have a level advantage. I'm surprised that we learned Psychic at level 38. I thought it was much later on. At least level 40 or 42. That's good. Alkazam Cleaning House. Actually, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this might sound stupid, but I, for some reason, believe that Umbreon can learn Psychic. I was just thinking about this guy down here, and if I'm like, if I can get the TM for Psychic, then I'll just teach that to Umbreon, and that'll make him even more effective. Because Psychic, Psychic type moves don't have any effect on Dark type Pokemon, I think. Is that or Ghost type? I don't remember. But if I can teach a uh, Dark type Pokemon a Psychic move, like Psychic for that matter, that'll be substantially devastating. Plus, it also kind of makes up for the fact that I'll have uh, a good backup if Alakazam ever gets KO'd or runs out of Psychic-type moves. I'll have to double-check. Do some research on that for me, would you? Because I'm, uh, I'm fairly certain that's the case. Cool, we'll get Alakazam level 39 by the end of this battle as well. He still has two more, I think, right? Weezing, there we go. Nope, we're going to go ahead and just keep using Psychic. Psychic has, what, 10 power points? Yep. And we're not done yet, though. So this guy's tough, but then as soon as we get to the underground, we're going to end up fighting our rival. Which is so dumb. Like, that's such a horrible opportunity for a battle. There we go. 39. Fantastic. Cool. Speed and power. That's all we need. About to use coughing. Nope. It's like our rival really needs to pick and choose when he's going to get into a battle with us. I think by now this video is getting close to about 15 minutes in length, but I still, I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. We gotta get through this. I don't want to make it a two-part video to get through the radio tower. Okay, let's see. We stashed him in the underground in the warehouse. It's at the far end of the underground, but I doubt you'll get that far. You just gave me the basement key. Why would you do that? What a dumbass. 
Oh, wait, we need to get to the elevator. Okay, I think there's a, a doorway that we have to take on. All right, this guy's just rotating in a... Okay, we're good there. All right. <coughs> Excuse me, I think it's right here, right? Yeah, card key slot, right? Uh, what? I don't understand. Wasn't that supposed to open up the door? Okay, hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's just keep on going. Isn't there an elevator around here, I thought? Hmm. No, let's just go. I think we're good. We already took that guy on. Took them on. What do these guys say? Let's see. Today's password? Help, of course. Interesting. Card key slot. All right, why would they want to take over the radio tower? Uh, I don't know. Isn't there an elevator? What am I doing wrong? I'm sorry, but we're not offering any tours today. Okay, it's all right. I'll just go do my thing. Crap. Hmm. All right, what floor is what floor is this? Does it say right here? Third floor. Okay. Hmm. Why is this not opening? There's got to be something else I'm doing wrong here. The card key slot. Give me the basement key, but I don't have a card key. Boss has locked himself in, but the director can open it. He's up on the fifth floor. Please save him. I don't understand. What am I missing? I'm doing something wrong here. Where is... Okay, hold up. We statue the director in the underground warehouse. It's at the far end of the underground, but I doubt you'll get that far. Yeah, you told me that. I don't... I don't get it. What am I doing wrong? There's got to be... Hmm. The card key. Where the heck do I get that? All right. So the director gave us the basement key, but we can't get to the basement because we don't have the card key. What the flip and flip? Hmm. Let me double check. I'm going to look online because I don't actually remember. <laughs> the locked door in the tunnel. Am I thinking... Oh, it's the underground tunnel outside. Oh, dumb, dumb, dumb. Okay. I don't give a shit about that. Damn, I have to go all the way outside the building now? I don't remember that being the case. Okay, well, whatever. We'll figure this out together. Damn it. All right. We'll just go outside and we'll go to the underground. One side of the underground is blocked, so we have to go to the far end of the gold goldenrod to get there. Okay. Do 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 do. Alright, so, right down here is blocked off, so you can't get there. We gotta go... not there, because it's also blocked. Our dream will soon come true. It was such a long struggle. Hmm. What am I, what am I missing? Can I get there from over here? They're blocked. They've literally blocked everything. There's no part of the city that I can get to. Where the heck is this? No. I don't follow. Wait, what is this here? Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. I thought it was on the other side. All right. Don't fight me. I have to fight these assholes. Damn. Ugh. Ugh, oh, this is going to be such a long process. This is really irritating. It's okay. All right, Pokemon Eight Down wants to battle. Pokemon Channel Slowpoke. All right, Alakazam Oh wait, these guys are super weak. Okay, that's that's a that's a pro. That's a definite plus. I should have healed up, though. Get my power points back. Nope, we're good. Slowpoke? No, we're cool. I'll just take him down with another side beam. I think we'll be okay. I don't really think it matters. We've got plenty of, uh... Plenty of moves. I, do I have an ether on me? If I do, that would, heal, that would uh, replenish all my stuff. I think. That might be one move. I don't use those items much. Let me double check my inventory. See if I can use those real quick. Nope, nope. What do we got? Uh, pack. Let's see. Berry. Antidote. Super, let's see. Restores PP of one move by ten. One move. Alright, let's use Alakazam. Psychic. There we go. Alright, that should be enough. Far end of the tunnel. Okay, he won't challenge me. She won't challenge me. What do we got here? Hey, the coin case. I forgot about that. I should have gotten that so much sooner, but I forgot that was here. Damn. 
trying to cheat. This guy. This guy. Alright. Super nerd Eric sent out Grimer. Hmm. Yeah, these weak type, weak type Pokemon aren't really going to be a problem at all, but I'm going to go ahead and just run out of side. Wait. Oh, wow. Wait. What? Wasn't I supposed to replenish? Am I crazy? Hmm. Unless I did something wrong. I just tried using an ether to replenish my power points, right? Did it not work? Or what did I miss here? I must be out of it. That's all right. We'll get through the underground, and then we'll be able to get through this damn video. This is going to be a long one. Okay, right up here, and out. It spits us out here. All right, we're good. So now, wait. Uh, what's in here? Top Blizzard of my Pokemon. It was hard to get enough coins for it, but it was worth it. Okay, so now that we're in here... Welcome to the game corner. No, I don't want some coins. I'll buy some later. Hmm. Where is he stored at? Hold on. Let me see if I can see this right here. What's going on here? <laughs> uh, ah, damn. I messed up again. I shouldn't have gone through here. There's a. I was trying to avoid that one trainer battle. There's a path immediately to the right that I didn't want to take, but I forgot that you have to go there. All right. At least by going to the underground, I think Bill's house is over there. All right, so we can pass these guys, and it's one to the right. Oh well. Yeah, this fool. Damn it. See, this is what I get trying to avoid all the battles that I possibly can. I end up getting stuck against them all, no matter what. All right, Super Nerd wants to battle. Send out Magnemite. Eh. It's almost not even worth my time at these levels, right? All right, Psybeam to finish him off. Did I choose Psybeam instead of Psychic? That must have been what I did. That's got to be it. I think that's what happened. I, I, yeah, that's what it was. Damn it, I thought I was using Psychic, and I hit Psybeam by mistake. Okay, so also, be prepared. Like I said, your rival's going to end up fighting you down here at some point. I don't remember when or where, but we're getting close to it. I think we have a couple of major battles ahead of us, but we have to open up a door to release this director, and then I think that's when our uh, rival pops out and decides that that's when he wants to fight us. All right, Super Nerd sending out another Magnemite. Nope, we're good. We'll finish him off with, once again, another Psybeam. Oh, man. All right, fine. Now we can move forward. All right, now there's some sort of secret door somewhere in here. Hey. Cool. And right here, basement key down to the stairs. Ugh. Such an opportune time to show up. All right, I don't need you under... F oh, okay, whatever. He's going to take your team rocket. Beam it forward, didn't you? That was just a fluke, but I repay my debts. All right, here we go. All right, so your rival's going to end up throwing some major challenges at you here in this battle. This is going to be kind of a complicated one if you don't have a, a strong line of Pokemon and a lot of healing items with you. All right, starting off with a gold bat at level 30. Watch out for confusion and poison type moves that he might be able to throw. Psychic should be enough to do significant damage. It might not beat him in one hit, but it should be enough to bring him down to more than half. Uh, or less than half, I should say. Okay, cool. Good. And Alakazam will be at level 40 by the time we're done here. Over 1,000 points of experience should be able to push us right over the edge, at least in the next battle. Sneasel, a Dark-type Pokemon. This might be a problem. Uh, yep, this is not going to work. Um, shoot. Let's see. Let's switch over. We're going to use Scizor here. 
What level is he at? 39? Oh, I didn't realize that he was so high up already. Good news is, is that Alakazam will get the experience. Or some, anyway. Nope, nothing. That's a critical hit. Shame. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and use Slash. That won't do much. I'm guessing 33%. Really? Man. I am just... I'm terrible when it comes to how much damage things are gonna do. It always, uh... Always does a lot more than I expected. Alright, Alakazam gained 451 points. Sizor gained that. We'll both be at level 40 soon. That's good. About to use Magnemite. Yeah, we're gonna switch out for Alakazam. We're gonna blow him off with Psychic. That'll put Alakazam to level 40. We'll switch back to Sizor and uh, get another level 40 out of it. That's, I think that's a good chance. A good opportunity to level up on both accounts. Alright, Alakazam again, fight, we're gonna use Psychic, finish him off in one hit KO. I thought Magnemite would have been evolved by now into Magneton, but I guess not. Cool. Level 40. Alright, he's about to use Haunter. Yes. Uh, damn. Hmm, nope, we're gonna stick with Alakazam. Physical type moves aren't gonna be as effective. So, we're gonna go ahead and just stick with it. We'll use Psychic to finish him off. Mm, no, we'll use Side Beam. That should be enough. And if it's not, we'll be okay. Now, watching out for the Ghost-type Pokemon, they could put you to sleep and paralyze you. So, those are the two big things you gotta watch out for. Especially with Haunter's uh, Hypnosis and Dream Eater combo. I'm not even sure if our rival knows those techniques for this Haunter. I think that he does, so you gotta be careful. Meganium. Yeah, we're gonna switch it out. We're going to go ahead and use Sizor on this one. Not an optimal choice of elemental differences here, but I wanted to use it just for the damage type. And if Sizor does have any sort of problem, I can just switch over to Growlithe and uh, finish him off with the fire type attacks. Uh, let's use Metal Claw. I don't expect it to do a lot. More than I thought. Wow, that didn't do jack squat. Sizor's defense must be pretty strong. Alright, Metal Claw again. Finish off Meganium. There we go. Cool. Two level 40s. Alright, and then we defeated our rival. There we go. Alright, I don't understand. Is that what Lance Guy said? That's why I don't treat Pokemon properly. Love. Yeah, trust. Are they really what I lack? Yeah, dude. Are they weak for money? Yes, that's exactly right. Don't understand, but it's not going to end here. Not now, not because of this. I won't give up my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer. Okay. All right, so we got through the radio tower and we defeated our rival. I'm going to end it here just because we're getting close to a 30-minute video, and I know that's definitely not the best way to go. I'm shocked if you, stick or you stuck around the entire time throughout this video, but we'll continue right after this when we continue our playthrough of Pokemon Crystal. All right, see you next time.